So, Leo, we have the Telegraph now, and according to a prison reformer, even our woeful attempts at fatherhood are better than nothing. So, yes, yeah, their fears fatherlessness is fueling crime. So, family breakdown leads to higher levels of offending and antisocial behaviour, says prison reformer Lord Farmer. Uh, I'm guessing his ancestors were farmers at some point. Yeah, big uh, farmer. But, yeah, mm. uh, there's uh, research that shows 75% of young offenders did not grow up with both parents. I don't think is... this is controversial, is it? This has been known for a long time. It's the single most st strongest correlation, isn't it? Yeah, and it makes, it makes it's common sense as well. I mean, this is with yeah. the sort of liberal of the, the 60s, uh, you know, where people could get divorced and all, all the rest of it. It worked out great for, for middle class people because, you know, then you, you're free to, you know, pursue the life that you, the life that you wanted. But for, uh, for other people, uh, it wasn't so great because, you know, the family structures break down, all the bonds, the sort of cement of the community that holds yeah. people together uh, went, went away. And the stats, the stats are, uh, are pretty... Stark. Pretty stark, mm. yeah. yeah. So fatherless children are eight times more likely to be on the at-risk register and 50 times more likely to die of an inflicted injury than those living with two biological parents. Wow. I was, I mean, I was raised by a single mum, and I just sniffed a bit of glue. But well, they are obviously. I mean, this, this is a tricky issue to discuss without being as you know, without you know, treading on a landmine, because obviously single women who raise kids on their own are heroes for doing so, uh, to be encouraged uh, to feel that they're supported. It, it, you've got to be able to discuss it without putting no, any so blame. Some of them are just impossible to live with. Yes, of course, but you've got to discuss it without putting any blame oh, on the I women. Yes, it's, the, it's the men. Are, it's a bit like when you do a stand-up gig. Have you ever done like a tour date and it's half empty and you want to? You're angry about it, but <laughs> you can't complain. You know, you end up complaining really to the people those. who have come. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It's like <laughs> <laughs> that's all I've done. But uh, yeah, exactly as Leo said. This, the, I mean, these statistics are incredible. Fifty times more likely to die of an injury. Yeah. You know, uh, I mean, that's why. I, that's how I keep my wife around. I'm like, don't. You, if you leave me, yeah. the kids are going to be. 50 times more like but the other, there's another really interesting statistic about um, people who receive visits from family members whilst they're in prison yeah. are 39 percent uh, less likely to reoffend than the people who don't right. and it's actually the bigger rather you know everyone says I'll oh, get give them some education in jail or yeah. or deal uh, or, or stop drug drug treatment programs or whatnot those only have an impact of nine percent 19 percent this is a huge impact so it's a seems continuing like, relationship with, the, with with family members yeah. coming in and you think and I don't know if they already do this but surely it makes economic sense to pay for family members give them free travel free bus passes whatever it is yeah, yeah. to be able to visit their relatives in jail no, because if that has such a big impact it's one of those things where that would be the cart leading the horse so it's the fact that the family members want to go that, that is the sig signal that it, they're they're going to come out and yes. they're being cared somebody cares about them if you, just, if you bribe people to turn up and look bored it's going to speaking from personal experience yeah. <laughs> it is interesting that it is one of the major talking points among that phenomenon that you get in America the black conservative you know like Thomas Sowell being mm. the grandfather godfather of it all but there's another you know, Glenn Lurie and so on they emphasize again and again that uh, the welfare state essentially was a disaster for the black community and yep. obviously young black men massively overrepresented in correctional facilities in America but it, it correlates even more closely with fatherlessness as well and I, and I just think it is you know it's an extraordinarily it's it's almost like you've 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 basically hobbled the horse before it starts yeah and you, you've created a culture of uh, instead of people going out and striving and you know yeah. working for themselves that you you've, you've, you've sort of sucked the, the well they get into they get into gang in. culture they, it's the big deal isn't it they yeah. get into gang culture because they're looking for some kind of uh, male bonding well, sort of opportunity non-biological you know? father substitutes are twice as likely to get involved in crime. Yeah, that's it.